Welcome to To Enable Help. Uh, this video is going to explain some of the functionality around the To Enable Hub itself. So when you connect to a To Enable Hub, and I've connected to a To Enable Hub here, and I type in the IP address of the hub, it will load up this captive portal page for me. So these are really shortcuts for me to either manage the device or to access specific websites. So the To Enable link will take me to the To Enable website. The Office 365 link will take me to the, my online office account. Department of Education will take me to the Department of Education website. So those are three quick access sites. This is to administer the device itself. And that's part of the uh, Intel functionality. So if you refer to the Intel enclosed leaflet in the device, you can access some of that functionality through this link. But what I want to show you is a to enable administrator functionality. So it requires a password and a username. And this is included in the quick start guide in the, that came with the device itself. What I'm really keen to show you here is the fact that this was when it last successfully synchronized. So this device is up to date on the 3rd of May 2016 at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. The other, so if you want to update it, this, is, this will tell you when it last successfully updated. The second thing is here is the internet is open. So on this space, I can go to any website. So if I go google.coza, what it should do is allow me into Google. And if I type the word education, it will allow me into any website. So there are no limits as to what I can visit. What I can do is I can click on this and it will change the state to Internet Limited. And what's important to understand is it's limiting all the traffic that is traveling through the hub itself. So here I'm connected to the hub and I pass through the hub in order to access the Internet. This is limiting that Internet access. So if I were to come back and choose a different uh, website to go to, I can choose South Africa. As a search, it's un. Um, let's see if it'll allow me to open a website. So, Google is one of the sites you can go to in terms of, of, of accessing, and, and Google is a site we check to see whether we have online access. But when you try to go beyond that, it's not going to allow you to access any sites. So, literally, the sites that you can access are. To enable, so if I click on to enable, it'll permit us there. So that provides every user the function, full functionality of to enable, and it allows them access to Office Department of Education, Office 365. There's very little else that it, that it will provide them access to. So let's try msn.com. It's not letting us go to msn.com. Um, so, and the simple way to change that is if you want access, you make access. Click on that and you say Internet Open. But there is no control over Internet Open. Anybody can visit any site. Internet Closed or Internet Limited limits the sites that users can go to. This means users will not be browsing YouTube. They will not be going to Facebook. You will be reducing the amount of data that you are using in your classroom and you are using through this device. So our recommendation is, is that you have the Internet on a limited space and you use our uh, digital library in your classroom to control access to the internet uh, and that's an important part of uh, the feature and the functionality of this digital library that you can get from us at to enable thank you